Hello, and welcome back to Field Ready. On this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Mesa 3 Rugged Tablet running on the Android operating system. We're going to take a look at some of the key features of the Mesa 3 running on Android, as well as some of the key differences between it and the Windows 10 version of the device. Let's go ahead and get started. We're not actually unboxing um, this device today. If you would like to see an unboxing of the Mesa 3, we have another video of Field Ready where we unbox the Windows 10 version of the device. Um, the unboxing experience, the accessories, things that come in the box are the same for both devices. So if you would like to see that video, I will have that linked in the description below. With that aside, um, here with me is the Mesa 3 running Android 9.0. The Mesa 3 running on Android offers full Android 9.0 with GMS. What GMS means is Google Mobile Services. This gives you access to the full suite of Google Apps and services as well as the Google Play Store. This gives you the flexibility and applications you need to get the job done. Let's go ahead and walk around the device. Starting here with the keyboard. So we have some symbols here that may seem familiar to those who have used Android in the past. By default, this is set to back, home, menu, a directional pad. You have your diamond key, which right now is just set up um, as an app select key, an enter key, and a power key. Um, but all of these, beside the power button, are programmable within the software to do different functions with the device. So here is our main display. This is a 7 inch 1280 by 800 display. This is a really vibrant display, great for outdoor use. Um, that's you know one of the things that we pride ourselves on, especially with the Mesa line. You're going to have visibility no matter the environment. Right here on this side, you have your front-facing camera, and you have some LED indicator lights right here. They're kind of hard to see, but they'll indicate you know when the device is powered on, when it's hibernated, um, and when it's charging. Jumping around to the side, I attach the strap, like I said, there's these little metal hooks on all four corners for our different accessories. I also tethered the stylus to that as well. Jumping over to this side, let that autofocus a little bit. We have our pin array, um, our pin pads right here that interface with our different accessories. We have a keyboard accessory that attaches to the bottom or to the side of the device so that you can hold it like this. Let's jump around here to the ports. So the ports on the Android version are definitely different than they are on the Windows 10 version. So starting here we have our, our barrel jack for charging the device. In the middle we have our full size USB and over here we have a USB-C. And so these are just additional ways to interface with, with different devices. And that just gets covered up by that little flap. Um, one cool thing about this flap is that it is removable for those people who don't want to, you know, um, have to open and close that if you're accessing those ports a lot. And one of the really cool things is that that does not affect the IP68 rating of the device if that's removed. You're still going to have a, a waterproof um, device with or without that flap. So that's kind of cool. Alright, let's go ahead and jump around to the back here. We have a lot going on back here. So this is our bay where we're able to stow away the stylus. We have a couple of different mounting points here for different accessories, mounting poles, those sorts of things, or truck mounts to put in the cab of a truck or a forklift or whatever. Um, you have your rear camera. On the Android version, this is a 16 megapixel camera. Um, the front and rear facing cameras come standard. You have a flash, you have your speaker here. Um, Something interesting right here, it might not be a port that you see every day, this is a 9-pin connector. Um, and what this is, I, we wanted to put this here just to show the flexibility of the device, that there are modular add-ons to the device that will help you interface with legacy products. You can add a barcode scanner, RFID reader um, up here in this top portion, so the device is very customizable. So let's go ahead and pop open the back bay. So we're able to pop it open. One thing I really like about this is that there's no hinge here. We didn't, you know, didn't build in a plastic hinge. If you were in the field looking to hot swap your batteries, you're not fighting this door and it's not going to snap off. 
here's our main battery. This is a removable battery. This comes in the box, um, shipped with the device. This device that we're looking at today also has the optional internal battery built in. That's not accessible from, from out here. Um, and so what that, what that allows the device to do is to have hot swapping functionalities. So say in the field you have an extra one or two of these larger batteries and you want to swap those out. It's as easy as taking off the back door, pulling this out, putting in your new one. You're not going to skip a beat. The device is not going to turn off because of that internal battery. Um, in terms of specs on those batteries, we are looking at a 43.2 watt hour battery here in the removable battery. And then the optional internal battery that allows for hot swapping is a 21.6 watt hour battery. So those two batteries combined, that's over 60 watt hours of battery in a tablet, which is just great. A couple of things I wanted to show you in here are our micro SIM tray. Well, it's not really a tray, it's more of a slot. You're able to slot in a SIM card from a major carrier, it supports 4G LTE. And then next to that we have a micro SD slot where you're able to slot in expandable storage. So the device comes standard with 64 gigabytes of flash storage. And one other thing I would like to point out here before I close the door back up, you can kind of see this black rubber sill all the way around this, this compartment. And what that does is that pinches close with this plastic bit here on the door. And that gives us, I'll go ahead and close it up, that gives us a watertight seal, another part of our IP68 rating. This has been a quick look at the Mesa 3 running on Android. I want to thank you for joining me, and you are now Field Ready. Stay tuned to Field Ready for more videos covering both the Windows 10 and Android versions of the device. To see this future content, please subscribe to our channel, and to learn more about all of Juniper Systems products, visit our website.